I can't believe this makeup turned out. <laughs> I think I got lucky. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm going to play with my makeup. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I think I'm gonna do a mix of drugstore and new products that I got from Sephora. I had to go to the doctor this morning so I have a little bit of makeup on. I'm gonna zhuzh this up without taking everything off. So wish me luck. This lip gloss that I put on is from Amazon. It's called Ruby Kisses. It's lip oil. It is so inexpensive. It's so nice and it gives a beautiful shine. So I just put that on while I do the rest of my face. If you're not new here, Thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you. And if you're new here, my name is Julie Meikle. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist. I dip into fashion a little bit and I'm hoping to help you out. Let's get going. I did pick up the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation and I got the color 112. I feel like this is going to be too light, but I did want to try it. Let me just check it out. It doesn't have a pump, eh? That's too bad. You know what? That might be okay. I'm gonna try it, and if it doesn't look good, I'll take it off. That's the only way I'm gonna know. My skin is acting up. I had a revision surgery on Friday for my breast lift and augmentation. I had my original breast lift in 2009. I went in again in November and had a redo because things were dropping quite drastically, and we had to go in on Friday and do a revision. We, like the girls. We, the girls, had to go in for a revision surgery on Friday. I feel like everything went smooth. I feel comfortable, thank goodness. Anytime my body goes through a surgery, my skin flares up so bad, like I end up with that almost lupus rash. And that happened to me again this time, so I imagine that this is from that. Anyway, let me prep my skin. I just wanna prep with a light moisturizer. I did purchase some e.l.f. skincare. I have told one of my viewers, who I consider my girlfriend now, Lisa, that the e.l.f. holy hydration wasn't good for people with really dry skin. And then I thought, you know what? I'm guessing that that's the case. And I hadn't tried it, so I ordered it. They had it on Amazon, little samples. Like, um, it came in a package. So I'm gonna use this. I've got the holy hydration eye cream. I'm just gonna go in with a Q-tip and dab it lightly. Mascara I have on right now is the Clio mascara, the Clio Kill Lash. It does not budge. I can sleep in this and I still have the same curl, no flakes, nothing, but it is a bugger to get off. Sometimes I'm in the mood for it and sometimes I'm not. Today I was in the mood for it. Okay, I've got the Booster Drops. No smell. And don't forget your neck. So this is the cream. I typically like a rich cream. This will be interesting to test this out when I'm using a matte poreless foundation. Feels nice. My hair is such a mess. Oh my goodness. I'll fix it. Since this doesn't have a pump, I'm gonna go in with my Q-tip. Hopefully I just have to go in with it once and dot it around my face. That's a little much right there and we'll just work it out that way. I don't wanna waste any product. I feel like the coverage isn't gonna be really good. Like I think it's more of a natural coverage, but that's just my impression. I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 109. This is the mini foundation brush. I think that's what they call it. So really what I'm looking to do is even out my skin tone I have a lot of pink around my skin. You can see all the pink there. Now if I even that out, will it camouflage the pink? I hope so, yeah. Yeah, you can see through my skin there. So if you're looking for a full coverage, this may not be it. I will test it and build it up to see if it will cover that area better. I could use a concealer for that area as well. feels very light, no tackiness. Did I just not get this area? Probably not. Let's see if I can get some off the Q-tip. I'm gonna go in with my Sigma Corrector, Corrector Concealer Duo, is that what it's called? I mostly go into the darker of the two. I hope you can see that that one's a little bit more peachier, this one's lighter. I go into this one with a touch of that one, just to brighten up this area here. Very similar to Bisque and Light Bisque from Bobbi Brown. It 
an ex-boyfriend from years ago, from when I was 25. I spoke to his daughter the other day and she's a makeup artist. She lives in the same town that I met her father in and where my parents live. She's young and there's not a lot of opportunity for her to really play with a lot of different people. It's a smaller town. I would love to help her out. I wish she lived closer. She reminds me of me being in that situation at such a young age and knowing that she wanted to be a makeup artist. I knew I wanted to be a makeup artist. And the town that she lives in, there's one store. It's a shopper's drug mart, but it's not a beauty boutique. So it doesn't give her the opportunity to play around with people's makeup. Anyway, it was nice. It was nice to be able to feel useful and helpful. I think she got something out of it. I'm gonna go back into this now that's set a little bit and see if I can build it up. Not a lot, just like right there. Is there anywhere else? Maybe right there, this darn thing. And when you're covering up an area that you don't like that needs a bit more coverage, don't swipe and wipe, just pat it. So you can do that with your brush or you can do it with your finger. I don't wanna shear it out, I just wanna press it into the skin. I probably did my makeup in the wrong order. I wanna play with the Born This Way Cold Smolder Nudes palette. I hope I don't drop it down. Maybe I should powder a little bit first. Drugstore foundation, drugstore powder. I'm gonna use the Physician's Formula, better believe it, pressed powder. I did see somebody else mention another powder. I love Physician's Formula. The packaging is awful, but I'm willing to give any of their powders or any products a try because I like them so much. Swished in all the colors. I'm doing this so that the eyeshadow will hopefully just slide off or blow off if I have any fallout. I love the smell. Sometimes it's a bit strong for me. Like today, for some reason, I kind of want to choke, but I typically love the smell of this. Anyone else? Let's get into the fun part. Skin's fun for me, but eyes are really fun for me. Should I do a dramatic eye? It's gonna be so weird to work around my lashes. Probably not the best idea. That's how lazy I am today. Can't find anything other than soft ochre, so I'm gonna use it. I was trying to find something different, but I couldn't find anything. I just wanna clear out all those veins and make sure that it's nice and clear, no distractions, especially because I'll probably end up going a little bit dark with this eyeshadow look. So I was going live, but I'm finding now that the weather's nice, I, I wanna get outside. So I have to apologize if everybody enjoyed that. It's not that I'm gonna stop, but I have to get my, my mojo, I don't know. I have to find the right time and there's been a lot going on in my life and in my house. If I have to pick between family and going live, I'll always pick my family. I know everybody that watches my videos understands that, so I appreciate it and thank you for understanding, but I do intend on getting back on eventually, I'm just not sure. And I hate to promise a day and then have to cancel last minute, so I'm gonna leave it for a bit, I think, and just work on my videos and enjoy my family and enjoy the nice weather. I'm going to go in with this color. This color is called Cold Smolder, and I'm gonna go in, this is a light fluffy brush, this is a BK Beauty. 201 brush. What other brushes can I show you that would be similar? I know a lot of you, you know, these might be out of your budget. The refer number 15 would also work. I have a whole box of brushes down here. This one's a good one. This is Royal and Lang Nickel, the Omnia collection. This is a natural hair bristle brush. That's a Morphe brush. I like the other ones better because they're softer, but if you don't mind that this is a bit stiffer and feels a bit more pokey, then this one will work just fine. This is a M441. The softer the brush, the more diffuse it's gonna look. I'm gonna start off in the crease and see how these lay. I did play with this once and I can't honestly remember. It was a very quick TikTok video and I haven't edited it, I haven't put it together yet. There, I'm gonna use that phrase instead of edited it. <laughs> So I can't even remember what it looked like. Very, very subtle, that color. I could put that all over actually. In fact, maybe that's what I'll do. This is a Sephora Pro brush and I think they do look different now. Same color, I'm gonna load up that brush and place it all over the lid. Yeah, that's a good call. It wasn't really doing much as a crease color anyway. Yeah, and it just canceled everything out, set that soft ochre paint pot. It's creating that base for the cool eyeshadow color. I'm going to go into this color right here, which is Driftwood. 
I'm gonna use a refer 14. This one has a little bit of a thinner, more detailed end to it. That's gonna be my crease color. Tap it off a little bit on the brow bone for me because if I stuck it right in there, I'd lose it as soon as I open my eye. I'm excited. I joined up for yoga therapy. My mother-in-law has been trying to get me to do that for a while, but I didn't realize that she meant it was going to be a one-on-one -on -one session. And when I finally realized that she was talking about having a personalized yoga session, I thought, okay, I can do that. I'm really excited. That starts on May 5th, I think. I've talked to her on the phone already and I really liked her. I have a good feeling about her. And she's gonna work with me and what my body is able to do. Because if I go to a yoga class, I'm very competitive and I always was an athlete before 2010. So I wanna do what everybody else does. This lady, her name is Christine Clark. After I talked to her for about an hour, I really got the impression that she understands my situation. She said, you know, for you in the beginning, it might just be breathing. I can do that. Sometimes that's even hard, but I'm excited. So I know if she starts me off slow, I'm gonna be able to keep going. And hopefully after even a month, maybe I'll be able to join a class once we get me situated of what exercises I can do and what is going to help my body get better. I'm going to kind of extend this out and then clean it up later. I wanna get a nice lift, so I'll clean that up with my foundation or a wipe or concealer afterwards. I wanna elongate my eye. You'll see in the end, it will all work out. Oh, hold on, go back. <laughs> Not that much. Same thing, flicking it up and out towards the corner of my eyebrow, that edge, the pointy edge. Do you see that already, how that's giving me a lift? I know that's kind of messy, but you get the idea. My eyes look bigger. They take up more space on my face. There's a hole right here. I'm gonna get that. Maybe this Christine Clark can get me going so that I can really enjoy my summer. I love going for long walks with the dogs and when I have too much pain, it's hard to do. I still go, but I go for very short walks to the park across the street and I wanna go for an exercise walk like I used to. I used to work for Ontario Hydro in the summer as a summer student and I worked in the forestry department and we would walk all day cutting brush and walk through the swamps and uh, make sure that the trees and the bushes didn't go up into the power lines. And that was a lot of exercise. Then I would walk home from work, which took me two hours to get home. I would have the longest, fastest stride. It was eight miles. I don't know what that is in kilometers. I was in good shape. I did that because I had to lose weight because I think I gained 30 pounds during my first year of college. I really liked to eat. That's still this color, by the way. I haven't done anything different. With that same brush, I'm gonna go into this color right here, which is called Earthy, U-R-T-H-Y. I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. I'm gonna use a Real Techniques brush. There we go, that's different. I would have gotten this in a set. So I just tapped it in and I'm going right along the lash line. I typically like the upper lid to be darker than the underneath. It always gives a nice lift. I'm gonna map it out. Really getting close to the lashes and dragging it out. I don't think I'm going to take it in any further. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that because I want everything to be wide. We'll see, I may change my mind. And the reason I'm stretching my eye is because I want to get that lip. There's a little lip here that curves. So a little bit of skin hides almost like underneath that curve. And I wanna stretch it all out so I get as close to the lashes as possible. Oh, my lashes are getting in the way. Bad idea. Okay, so this is coming down more. I don't like that. I'm gonna have to lift that up. Everything that I'm doing is to lift up so you can see how that's dragging down. And that's not bad. It's just not what I'm looking for today. I could cut this off here and clean it up so it's not pulling my eye down. You'll see. So I'm gonna cheat this corner up. Some of it will get lost in the fold. That doesn't bother me so much because it's a powder and you're gonna see I'm gonna blend in some eyeshadow anyway in that outer corner and it's all gonna connect. I can come up a little bit higher on this side though, I think. 
In this case, I think I'm going to dip back and forth. I'm just going to smudge it up a little bit. Yeah, that feels a little bit better, a bit more equal. With the stiffer brush, I'm going to go into driftwood. And just by using a stiffer brush, it's going to give more deposit. So it's not going to be as dark as this one. I don't want it as dark as that one. But I do want to deepen this up right here. You see, by changing my tool, I got more depth, same tone, and it blends better. It's connected. Let's do the same thing on this side. Trying to get them even is always a struggle, but you know what? Don't pick at yourself too much. Nobody's gonna notice like you do. I did just dip into that darker color a little bit to fill that space. Can I reuse a brush for you? I don't think I can. What shimmer am I gonna use? Got this one here. That one is Sparkle and Chill. This one's Show Off, and that one's called Moonstone. First of all, let me fix this little divot right there. Better. Better. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go in with this one, Show Off, on the outer corner right here. My nails need to get done. Don't look. And then sparkle and chill on the inner corner. And back in with this brush, I'm gonna go into these two colors again and drag the darker color over top so it's all gonna blend. That's the plan. I hope it works. If my plan doesn't work, I can always fix it. And circular motions, just working it in. And I'm not re-dipping, I'm just pulling it up to give that lift. I'm using a Refer 28, it's got a flat tip, but it's also pointy right here. Going back into that lighter shade and I just wanna make sure I get right in here. I don't wanna see a stop and a start and my finger can only go so far. What did I do again? I have to do it on the other side. Show off goes here. That outer third. And sparkle and chill right here. I like using my finger because I can really get a good application. You really can see it when I use my finger. And back in. Dip, dip. Outer corner. And do the same thing. going back and forth making sure it's all good okay and now I'm gonna take an empty brush any brush will do I'll use a Morphe brush to switch it up a little bit this is empty and I'm going to make sure that it all connects and I have a towel right here so each time I blend I go down and I wipe the excess off and I blend again do you have to be this particular no I have so much fun don't forget this is my art therapy I don't get stressed about makeup. I hope that that's the same for you, that you don't stress about it, that you just play. Still have a bit of a hole right there, eh? This side's looking pretty good. It's the way my eye is shaped. This part divots in more. When I try to chase after it, I kind of get myself in trouble. And I messed up. Of course I did. Easy fix, don't worry. Yeah, and that's looking more like a line compared to this side, and I don't want that. I want it to be all smudgy. Let me just take an empty Q-tip and see what happens. I think the way I'm going to fix this is by cleaning it up with a makeup wipe. <laughs> oh God, what have I done? Okay, there's the blend. Not this part, but this is blending. Hmm. Empty brush. Let me take my little wipe and try to sharpen that up a little bit. There, did that fix it? I have a lot of fixing to do. I made a mess. I want it to come up a little higher actually. That's a strong one. 
That's not my typical style either. Let's just go for it. <laughs> this is not my style. Okay, I can do it. I can do it. This is gonna be okay. It looks so good on other people. I'm gonna give this a break and do my eyebrows. It, it will all come together, I swear. I found this in with my eyeliners. This is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen, and I got it in the color taupe. I don't remember how I felt about this one. If you've seen my videos, you know I struggle with my brows. It's an ongoing process trying to figure out what works best. And I do get bored using the same thing over and over again. If you really want to know about a product, don't forget that you can message me, you can comment below, and I can tell you if I've used it again and if I like it. I'd hate to see you spend money on something that I tried and not really have my follow-up whether I still like it or not. I try to answer everybody in my comments. I think I'm doing a good job. Sometimes it's hard because I have so many platforms going. My biggest platform is TikTok, but I'm really trying to grow YouTube. And eventually I would kind of like to shove TikTok off to the side a little bit. And I'm also trying to grow Instagram. So if I don't answer you, it's not because I don't want to. It's really because I'm spreading myself a little thin between every platform. One day I would like to stick to one or two and not have all three going. It's a lot. And I never want any of you to feel ignored. I know you understand, but at the same time, I appreciate when you comment. I'm gonna take an empty spoolie and try to make this look a bit more natural. Soften the line a little bit. I picked up a couple of NARS concealers in the minis. I didn't know which color to get. I wanna try one just to outline my brow. It's not exactly what I bought it for though. There's Honey Light 3 and then I've got Chanel Light 2.75. That might make more sense because I am fairer than I normally am. And then use a Smashbox brush. Just wanna carve this out a little bit, make it a bit cleaner. I feel like that needs to be extended out a little bit further. Sometimes I don't know if I know what I'm doing, but it sure is fun to play. I can see that's a little harsh right here. It's a bit softer on this side, so I wanna soften this out. Sometimes I wonder if these are gonna be interesting for you, but I think that's why I have so much fun with it because I figure if you're meant to see it, it's gonna land in your feed. All right, so this is an empty brush. You can see there's nothing on it. I wanna soften these edges, just very tiny circular motions. I don't wanna drag it down, but I don't like that sharp line. Not on me. Yeah, that's better. I've taken all my concealer off now. I'm gonna use the same concealer, I think, for under my eye, right in the corner there, a little bit there. I feel like when you have a dark smoky eye or any kind of eye look, this has to be cleaned up. This has to be brightened or it looks messy. But if I can get this nice and polished, I can pretty much wear whatever color I want and you can too. So when people say to me, what color would look best on my eyes? Honestly, I can look at a color wheel and give you an idea of what will bring your natural color of eye out, but don't worry about it so much. Even out your skin tone and play. I could probably recurl these. This is the Refer Lash Curler. And because there's already mascara on it, it should curl nicely. And it did. I can't look at myself without color. So let me think about my lashes and I'll go on to my bronzer or contour or whatever I'm gonna do. Oh, I wanted to try this. I got this during the Sephora sale. This is the Too Faced Sun Bunny Radiant Duotone Bronzer. It has a little bit of a pink tone in the formula, so I thought it would be really nice. Oh, there's no smell. I guess it's not a chocolate bronzer. Okay, this is going to be very subtle. I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 103. I'm just gonna swirl it all together. This is an experimental video. This I think is really pretty actually. 
Does it have a shimmer? The Radiant Duo Tone, so it does have a radiance to it, which isn't a bad thing, but I can see it. So if you don't like that, beware. I don't mind it. Dual shaded bronzer with a subtle pink undertone. That's what made me get it was the subtle pink undertone because I always talk about having some red in my skin, as you can see. The slight pink undertone in this dual shaded palette mimics the flush of a real tan for an authentic radiance you can claim is all your own. So if you're afraid of bronzer and you have a hard time finding a natural color for yourself if you're fair, that's pretty. It's all coming together now that I have some shape to my face. All eyes and no skin looks weird. A little bit to connect my face to my neck. And if I wanted to, I could go in with just the one to make it a little bit deeper there, I think. I don't feel like that's necessary. I think that looks good. I still haven't decided what I'm doing with the lashes. I'm gonna go on to lipstick now. I'm gonna just avoid the problem altogether until I have to do it. Queen Musea sent me some products and I'm really excited. These look really cool. I think I'm saying that right. Queen Musea, M-U-S-I-A. They sent me their mascara, which would not be a fair try for me to try it right now. They sent me their lipstick and I hope the color matches. The packaging is so pretty. How do you open it? Oh, okay. This is really good packaging because I couldn't see the seam. It just pops off like that. But when you close it, you can't see where it stops and starts. This is called Becky Sharp. It's an innovative matte cream lipstick formula. It delivers a luxurious non-drying matte finish. It lasts long, wears comfortably, and is extremely lightweight. Mindfully crafted for the sensitive lip area without harsh ingredients. I don't know enough about ingredients, and I will be the first one to tell you I'm not the one to come to for that. I like researching, I just don't remember what I research. The first ingredient is Rickinus Communis seed oil. Uh, oh, it's castor oil. And then the rest of it, I'm not sure. There is a synthetic wax, there's silica, synthetic beeswax, candela. So it's up to you. I don't know what your ingredient list is like of what is important to you or not, but it feels good. I don't find that there's a smell. I like the color. Should I put this on over top? It's not fair. So if it doesn't look good, please don't judge this. The packaging of this is so pretty. It's quite heavy in a good way. I feel like it's not gonna clump up, I hope. What I'm looking to do right now is get any eyeshadow off of my lashes and make these look blacker and give them more oomph. And it's doing the trick. Again, not a review. I will review this in another video for sure. Now my eyeshadow doesn't look quite as dark to me because it's hiding behind the mascara. Wiggle and pull. When I'm wiggling my mascara, what I'm doing is working it around the entire hair shaft. So I get right to the base and pull it through. Especially if you have lighter colored eyelashes. I doubt I have to tell you, but really make sure to get to the base. That mascara did a great job actually. I'm gonna try this blush. This is by e.l.f. and it is the color. Why do they make it so difficult? I'm gonna put it up here. I have no idea what this color is called. I think it might look nice with this lip. We won't know until we try it. I'm gonna work it into my IT Cosmetics brush and then go on top. Yeah, that works. Pretty, I like that actually. I'm glad I did that. Do I have enough without having to re-dip? That one little dab on my hand worked for both cheeks. I am going to use Wherever Walnut by Makeup Forever. Maybe a touch more powder. This is a physician's formula again. Get the zit. The only thing I'm looking at right now is I wouldn't mind sharpening up this color right here, but I don't want it to be stark and obvious. I'm gonna use Eau Naturelle by Laura Mercier. Yeah, it just cleans it up. So that's like a nude color for me, but it cleans up any mascara that might have slipped on the inside of my eye. Nobody would know 
but I know. I'm gonna use MAC Fix Plus Stay Over Alcohol Free Lasting Setting Spray. The mist is so fine. I'm actually gonna do my hair with you, but I don't think I'll talk through it. I'll just fast forward it. This should be interesting. I just had surgery on Friday and today is Monday. So lifting up my arms isn't the most comfortable. It's not painful, but it's also not fun either. than it did. I need to do my highlights again. That'll be coming up soon. All right, let's review the foundation. It's nice. It's light. It feels more liquidy, more fluid. So if you don't like anything that feels remotely thick, this is a good one for you. Is it something that I'm going to reach for all the time? Probably not. There are other foundations, other drugstore foundations that I like better, but it's very nice. I could see this for somebody like my daughter who doesn't like foundation. Like you really don't feel this on and it doesn't give a lot of coverage. This would even out the redness in her skin and not make her feel like she has anything on. So if you're that type of person, this would be great. The eyeshadow palette looks great. I just played and played and played and it worked out perfectly fine. You can get easy looks with this. It doesn't have to be as dramatic as what I did. It's a very nice, cool palette. Not much to say about it really, except for that it went on smooth. I did have a little fallout, but that's not unusual for colors like that. Mascara looks great, but that's not a fair judge because it's over top of another one. So I will try that one out again. This blush worked out really well and my skin feels quite comfortable with, what is it? The e.l.f. Hydrating Holy Hydration Cream. Don't think it would be enough had I not used the serum with it but with the two of them mixed, they actually feel really nice. But this is also only an hour into me doing makeup, so typically if I were to feel dry, it would be towards the end of the day. I did use this when I first got it, and it wasn't enough for me, but I didn't use it with the serum, so that could be the difference. The Holy Hydration may be something I would go for more in the summertime, but for now, I do feel like I would need a little bit more. In fact, I'm actually a little tighter feeling around right here than I normally am, but I use a richer moisturizer. The powder you've seen me use before, the brows look good too, I think. Let me know what you think about that. I'm so glad I found this. It was in the wrong section altogether. I hope this video inspires you to try new techniques, new eye looks, new foundations. It's so much fun. Makeup is an art. It's my art therapy, and I hope that it's your art therapy too. All the products that I use today will be in the description box for you. They are affiliate links. If you're gonna buy it, it does help me out if you use my links. If you don't wanna use them, no pressure at all. I'm just so happy you're here. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Share with all your friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.